I do have skills that make me a nightmare for people like you. Alright guys, so, um, 19th of February 2019, another response, um, I got one on the 18th of February and now Rick is just polishing all of my requests out like nobody's business. Um, this one again uh, is in regards to the unlawful issuing by Steve because um, of the misleading markings. You can't have broken yellows and white hockey sticks in the same spot. Um, now white is only advisory whereas yellow is mandatory. So people might say that the yellow lines overrule the white. My point is when someone's driving along they're not looking at the gutter. They see that white hockey and they pull in thinking it's a car park given there's a P90 sign not less than seven meters away from that car park. So it's misleading people to park there. Whether they want to recognize there were white lines there or not, there were. Um, so uh, this is his response, dear Mr. Keane, CAS 946176M3G4B9, parking infringement. I refer to your correspondence regarding Parking Officer 1126 issuing you an infringement on the 12th of October 2018. I apologise for the delay in response. Right. Please be advised that Officer 1126 issued the, this infringement correctly. Okay, so they're ignoring the fact that I've pointed out to them since the 25th of October numerous times in writing that there were white hockey sticks. They're ignoring the fact that um, I've shown them ample photographic evidence of these white lines existing. They're ignoring the fact of the service order that I made because the warden didn't and the fact that they've actually painted the broken yellows and blacked out the white lines. Why would they do that if it wasn't faulty to begin with? So he's saying it was issued correctly. An operational review of the infringement has been completed by the supervisor and area manager and they are satisfied the, the infringement was issued correctly. Really. And who was that supervisor and area manager? Hmm? Where did they review it? When did they review it? Did they see the white lines? Because clearly they're colorblind. So they're only seeing yellow. Um, a court date has been set to hear the case. Yeah, I know. You guys didn't get just like the other 11 or the other 9 people that didn't pay out of the 12 tickets issued in 4 months there. You just threw all of them into Bay Corp. But I'm the one that actually requested a hearing, so didn't even go to Bay Corp. You didn't fuck with my credit rating at all, although you have adversely affected 9 other people's credit rating by claiming they owe you money and yet you haven't even proved the liability of the offence. Liable means upon conviction. They've had no court hearing. How dare you send it to a debt collection agency without actually being <laughs> obligated to receive payment from someone else that's supposedly liable. This is all based on assumption and presumption under the Section 133A of the Land Transport Act. Go and look it up. Please direct any further questions, if any, to the Auckland Transport AT Prosecutor or Persecutor you a, have been engaging with. Not very good punctuation or, or sentence structure there, Rick. We trust the above has clarified the issue raised. However, if you have any further queries, please contact Auckland Transport. Blah, blah, blah. Customer liaison at at.govt.nz going to be a little bit coming out shortly in regards to all of their direct dial numbers, email addresses and contacts, so if other people want to contact these people directly, they can. That's one of the beauties of being a public servant and working in a public capacity or office. You have to deal with the public and you shouldn't be hiding behind secretaries and receptionists. I'll move on. Now, the next Official Information Act request is basically because they responded the first time to me telling me how many tickets had been issued, the 12 infringements that have been issued and the two that have been paid, mine's going to court, so the other nine um, 
I wanted to know a bit more information. I wanted to know because I had requested to have a meeting to discuss the operational matters. Not so much my case because that's before the courts. They can't comment or, or do anything about it. Although the prosecutor can withdraw any time before the trial. So I don't think that's, you know, too hard to think about. But the next um, Official Information Act response that I got is in response to some follow-up questions that I gave and it's quite lengthy. Um, the other thing I've also done is I asked for the any and all public information available in regards to the service request order. You may recall in a previous part of the $80 or $60 parking ticket saga that I asked them to please send me verification that uh, the faulty or misleading road markings have been corrected or resolved um, and they never did so because of that I put an official information act request in for that case number and any relevant public information and I got a detailed response in regards to that too which I am extremely disgusted about um, not only have they or did they potentially put my 16 year old daughter who has not been involved in this at all in question, it appears that they're trying to defame me to the New Zealand Police. But that's coming up in the next Official Information Act video. Until then, see you later guys.